This video will show you how to go live on Facebook Live from a Facebook page. You can do this one of two ways, and I'm going to show you how to get into it from the actual Facebook app on your phone. I am working with an Android uh, Samsung Note 4, so this will look a little bit different if it's on your iPhone, but I'll try to cover that as well since I've worked with that too. So I'm going to go in from the Facebook app up here. And as I'm in the Facebook app, uh, you'll want to look for your little sandwich icon. Uh, and I believe on iPhone it's in the bottom right, but here it's on up there. And I'm going to click down. So this gives you access just like it would be the left side um, column on the desktop app of Facebook, giving you all your favorite places that you go and things you can do. Uh, you can actually move down and scroll down to what you want to look at. So uh, in the pages, and I've got a few pages I have admin access to, I'm actually going to use dot live for this and the reason i'm going to use that is because um, i use business manager facebook business manager for managing my own page when you do that you won't be able to uh, access your page as an admin through the facebook app uh, i don't use business manager for dot live for example so i'm going to click on the page and once you're in the page that you have admin access to all you need to do is click the post button and as you can see you could now create a post and you have a go live option. So um, you can type anything you want up in here. Hello. Um, you can tag people. You can give any more context to what you're about to do. And then you would just tap go live. Now, don't get freaked out by tapping go live because when you tap go live, all it does is give you a prep screen. This is before you're actually starting because as you can see down on the bottom, you have a go live button. When you're ready to go live, that's what you're going to tap. Uh, I'm not going to go live from dot .live at the moment because, again, I wanted to show you how to get into a page uh, that you administer from within the normal Facebook app. But there's yet another way. So I'm going to back out. I'll discard this. Back out. Discard that post. Um, I'm going to hit the home, home button on my phone. There is yet another way to get in. And I'm going to type into my other social here. And... I have a Pages Manager app, and there should be an app uh, similar to that for iPhones, but it's called Pages Manager for uh, Google or Android Play. So once I get into that, um, I can click, and again, I can see all the pages I manage. Now, I had mentioned earlier that I use business, Facebook Business Manager to access my early social page, but because I'm using the Facebook Pages uh, Manager for my, um, my phone, I can use that uh, app to get in. And as you can see, I also have this post option where I can, again, create any post, including a go live. And so I'm going to go ahead and say demonstrating, oops, not, I love it when it does demonstrating how to go on Facebook Live from a page. Check my YouTube for the tutorial because this is going to get uploaded to YouTube. Sorry, I'm taking forever to enter this because of course it doesn't want to do it. So I've got my little text in there. I'm going to hit go live. And again, I'm in my prep screen. Uh, I can monitor all this stuff. And this is where you want to verify everything's correct before you go live, like any other Facebook Live. So I'm in here, and I've, again, got the text filled in. That is just like any other post where there will be text right above the overall content of the post, whether it was a link or Facebook Live or a photo. This is the text that's going to appear above my Go Live. Once I'm ready, I'm going to tap Go Live. I'm going to get a 3 to one count. Hello everyone, I'm going live from my Facebook page. I'm actually doing this in response to a comment I saw on Facebook earlier in a group that I follow uh, where someone was asking for some guidance on how to go live from a Facebook page versus going from a profile. Uh, that can be a bit different and there are actually a couple different ways to do that which I just demonstrated in this video. This will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's on youtube.com slash C slash really social solutions. Uh, and I have a ton of different tutorial videos there, but I noticed I was lacking a video showing how to go live from a Facebook page. So that's what I'm demonstrating right now. Um, I'm on live and I'm, I'm basically recording my mobile screen from my laptop. If anyone's wondering, I'm using two different apps for this. I'm using ScreenMeet 
to actually transmit what is visible on my phone to my laptop computer uh, to a web browser you can get from anywhere. And then I'm also using a uh, screenomatic to record uh, my video. I've got one viewer. That's awesome. Uh, so I want to just do a little brief overview too because it's always good to see. Um, is that hello Alfredo nice to see you I'm going to give him a thumbs up as you can see I'm interacting with Alfredo here on my screen he gave me a comment and I was able to like it if I want to get really double duty I can also click on my comment button and write my own comment but that's pretty uh, pretty tough to do so I'm not going to do that <laughs> uh, I prefer when I am doing a Facebook live video to actually just engage with people as they're commenting I can go in and add the comments later it's a little hard to try to do multiple things at one time you can also do a few things, have all the same options you would have on Facebook Live from your profile as well. So I can change the look of my uh, Facebook Live by adding a filter. Um, I'm going to go classic with a black and white. Um, and I can uh, change some stuff too. I can also doodle on the screen and say hi. Okay. So you can do a couple things. If you're doing a demonstrative video where you're showing how a product works, you want to guide people. Uh, you can obviously doodle while you're on the screen there, um, and I can also clear that out if I so choose. Hit X to get out of those. Um, Alfredo says he's eating breakfast, but the audio is breaking up a little. Uh, that may be due to my uh, fact that I'm in my basement. But again, mostly just showing people how to get into going live from your, uh, from your page. So again, I've got my live indicator at the top. I've got uh, live, and then it tells me how many people are viewing. If I want to switch my camera, I can do that. And I'm going to show you guys my attractive laptop that's showing you what's going on. There it is. So that's excellent if you're doing an interview or doing a stand-up live video where you want to show somebody something going on and then come back to yourself. That's essentially it, guys. So once you have your video all done, you've interacted with everybody, and I'm liking that stuff, um, then you finish up your video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alfredo, um, I'll see you later probably online. And uh, we'll say goodbye to you for now from the Facebook Live. I'm going to hit finish. Ending the live video. And now you still have an option to delete it. If you really just hated what happened, you can delete it. Um, obviously, if you have live viewers, you can't really erase their memories for them. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click done. And that will turn that into a post on my page. And that is how you go live uh, from your Facebook page instead of your profile uh, using your phone. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, please email me if you have any questions, rachel at really.social.